Okay guys, we're headed out with the Colorado Motorcycle Group uh, on the first ride here in Colorado. And we'll do some commentary once we get started. I'm going to be sweeping for the group today, so I'm going to be in the back. And uh, let's have some fun. So yesterday we came up from Austin, did a thousand miles, and now we're taking the first ride with the group. Gonna hit some low level passes here in the mountains, go up just a little ways and then over to Estes Park from Golden, Colorado. All these riders here are mostly pretty experienced. Only one guy that's kind of sort of new. But I've never ridden in these elevations, so normally when I'm going in an area that I haven't been before, I like to have my map up so I can see what the corners are ahead. But since I got these guys here that I'm following, I'm just going to kind of wing it and judge from how they're doing. God, this is so beautiful out here. Ooh, a tunnel! I don't know what this is going to do to the camera, but hang on. Wow. When my wife and I came up visiting a couple months ago, we went down this road um, and I had talked to her about my hope that I'd get to ride this road. But now that I'm riding it, it's a wee bit scary. <laughs> For somebody from Texas where our hill country is, you know, like 20 feet piles of dirt. For the most part, I mean, there's, there's some good riding, but it's mostly flat. These corners that you're going to see here can be quite intimidating. Let's close the helmet, give you a little bit better audio, I think. You'll see. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, I scraped there. Shoo! Ooh wee! Ooh! That was one of those scary corners. My blood's still racing. You gotta be careful from what I understand not to hit the brakes because you change the dynamics. And if you're on the point where you're scraping, you just gotta work the bike. Ooh. 
Whew. I'm a shaking inside on that one. So what do we know right now? Well, number one, the lady that's in front of me is a badass because look how low she's getting on that road king there and uh, this scares the coop out of me. Um, this is not the bike that I think is absolutely the best one to be doing this in, clearly. So I see myself with an adventure bike here in the near future or something that equivalent as of uh, right now this bike was insanely good on the thousand mile trip up from Austin but this is not what this bike is necessarily built for Gotta catch up to these guys. Here we go. Oh, this is just gorgeous. That's one of the downsides to riding with a group that's moving through this at a good clip is that uh, you get to not see or not to enjoy some of the scenery. That boy sure gets the old heart racing. Another tunnel, woohoo! Here we go. Something's going on up here. Let's just come to a stop. Get the emergencies on so the people behind us can see. Apparently just some people turning. Let's go. Another tunnel up ahead. So that says 40, and the group is doing about 65.
trying to concentrate on the riding right now. Now that was awesome. That was a woman with her husband on the back. And this, <coughs> this ride would be so much more enjoyable if I wasn't worried about the lean angle on this. Jeez. Back in Texas, we really didn't have a lot of situations where you had to worry about lean angle. But I can see up here in the, in the mountains, that's going to be a real thing. Looks like they're taking off again. These rocks are gorgeous. Smell a pine in the air. Mm. Or evergreen or whatever that smells. It smells like trees. <laughs> the gold wing up there is handling extremely well. In front of me is a road king. In front of that is a Suzuki Boulevard. I'm going to, I'm not real versed on my Suzuki's, but I believe it's going to be a C90, if not a C80, but I think that's a C90. Then you got the Gold Wing. In front of the Gold Wing, we have a Pan America, or Pan, yeah, Pan America S, and that one, I believe, is a 21 model. In front of him is a Ducati uh what is that thing called the street fighter and it is a v4 engine it is pretty well decked out it's got all the bells and whistles on it and then up there in the number one spot if i am not mistaken that is a bmw gs850 maybe 900 but i think it's the 850 it's uh, one of the smallest of the BMW GS series. Say the one that probably handles the, the bike wise, the most lumbering is the Suzuki. And that Ducati is just uh, nimble as all get out. Pan America is doing extremely well as well.
Um, from a rider standpoint, I'd put myself down there at the bottom. Just I am not used to the twisties of these this nature. There's a little bit of added stress from the imminent sheer death on the other side of each of these corners, <laughs> as opposed to just rolling dirt in Texas. But uh, it is quite exciting. I'm very impressed with Jade here. Other than the lean angle, she is uh, doing good. Not great, but good. But I can't mock her for that because on that thousand mile ride that we just did yesterday from Austin, through all types of weather and road conditions and temperatures, ish, Jade was amazing. Uh, kept me as comfortable as possible even on the stock Harley seats that everybody complains about I'm not sore this morning so to me that's a win uh, as we're going up in elevation the cool air is amazing it's so crisp Look at those views, guys. The Monarch. Big birthday bash. Okie dokie then. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a casino resort and spa. And of course, wherever you have a big old area of great food, there's always a Bally's. No, is that a is that another casino? Yes, that is a Bally's casino. What am I thinking? And then the Lodge Casino. Got to stop watching these casinos and start watching my writing. The Maristar Casino Resort. Okay. A summer when you see this video I think we should come out here and explore a little bit when we get some time
surfing with all these bicyclists who look like they are having an amazing time themselves. I just don't see how anybody cannot be happy out here. But they look good from back here. Wow, great view coming up. Take a look at that, guys. Aperho National Forest. Sorry to all of those down in the heat in Texas. This feels like at about 60 degrees. Super crisp, clean, dry air. All my friends down there, you're in my heart. I wish you could be here. Yeah, this uh, lady in front of me, she knows what she's doing. I've seen her get down to less than an inch clearance on those bars, those engine go around. She just takes it.
Whoa, look at that view. Oh my goodness. That is breathtaking. Look at that snow up there. That is amazing. Okay, we got a deep S curve coming up. It's not too bad. Ow. Another bug right to the hand. Wow, she's really low over there. Nice friendly wave. That was an hour of riding. Recording. After a quick uh, restroom stop and gas for the sport bikes, we are back on the road and this time we are headed to Estes for lunch. Helmet or the shade down here.
because I should get back up with the group. Yeah, I'm thinking later on we're going to go visit Avalanche Harley if there's time. There they are. level is low. Looks like the camera's gonna run out here guys. I will see you.